I uh, want to stick with real estate and bring in our uh, other real estate voice of reason, Samantha DiBianchi of DiBianchi Real Estate down in Florida. Uh, Sam, uh, well, you've actually got a bone to pick with Realogy. Uh, we just spoke with their CEO. I mean, look, d let's just talk about Amazon as a whole. I go on Amazon. I shop for laundry detergent, toilet paper, and now I'm also going to shop for a house after I do that. I don't really think so. I think this is a win for Amazon because they're going to get more consumer data. I'm not really sure how, you know, someone going on Amazon and then looking for a realtor on Amazon, connecting that person, and then they're going to get motivated by a credit of an Amazon gift card or a house cleaning by Amazon Home Services. Again, I keep hearing Amazon. What's the difference between something that Rheology is doing there versus working with me, Compass, Douglas Elliman, any other brokerage? Because at the end of the day, we can all just give a credit at closing. And what I know buyers want is they want money in their pocket, not just an Amazon gift card or smart home or anything else that they could just buy on their own at their own discretion. Yeah, I mean, that's why I did ask Ryan uh, if there were other aspects to this, perhaps uh, some t technology help or something else. You know, but listen, I mean, their stock yeah. went from, has gone from $52 to $5 in the last six years. So we can see that right. there's something in that industry. There's something happening that's not right. It goes beyond the sagging housing market that we've seen. Although, uh, you know, when, when it comes to housing, Sam, we are getting reports that more and more wealthy New Yorkers continue this mass exodus. They're leaving and they're going down to your neck of the woods. Yes. Yeah, so well, let's also start by saying that foreign spending is down by 36 percent from last year. So Florida is number one with foreign buyers, and we really rely on South America, Canada. But now, because of that downfall, we're really focusing on New Yorkers because the highest population migration between states is New York to Florida. And in 2018 alone, we saw over 63,000 people move from New York to Florida. So I think especially after September and definitely coming into 2020, we're really going to have South Florida in particular be the new New York. There's always been, uh, you know, the, the sort of New York, the, the Florida has always been there. The, the snow birds, I guess you call them from Canada to New York. I mean, to Florida, rather. Yes. Uh, but is there something specific, though, about these crazy taxes? They keep layering them on and they keep getting deeper and deeper into our pockets here in New York, New Jersey and Connecticut. Right. And I think it's taxes, but I also think it's price point because you have to remember what you can get here in South Florida is a fraction of the price of what you can get in New York. New York's cost of living as a whole is just outrageous. Although Miami has been named one of the least affordable places in the world. I mean, again, there's deals to be had everywhere. And especially now, mortgage rates still under 4% for a 30-year fix. It's a great time to be buying. And just like Rheology said, you know, the market's kind of been a little a little wonky, as I like to say, but sellers can still make money in today's market if they're realistic and buyers can get the advantage of buying with rates as low as they are. So it is a weird market where everyone can kind of win if everyone is realistic. All right, uh, Sam, thank you very much. And we appreciate it. Good stuff there. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Hey,